In this video, we are going to discuss some of the basic elements that make up confined space entry, retrieval and rescue equipment. Every year, people are overcome by hazards while working in confined spaces. Often, this is magnified when rescuers are injured during a rescue operation. Some countries and employers have implemented regulation and rules to address this issue. Often, these rules only apply to confined spaces where known hazards have been identified or where there's a potential of a hazard based on the work being performed. Many companies apply the ABCDs of confined spaces and incorporate a best practice to ensure their confined spaces are treated the same. With consistency, employers tend to be better prepared, are more familiar and able to respond with the equipment that they're using. Similar to fall protection equipment, components for confined space also follow the ABCDs. This includes an anchor point, our A, located outside the space, a full body harness representing the B for body support, a rope or cable system as the C connecting device between our A and B. Mechanical advantage is usually incorporated when workers are being lowered and or raised from confined spaces as part of their D, descent and rescue system. An anchor point must be strong enough to support the connecting devices and provides the base for a mechanical advantage system. If present, the anchor should also meet any relevant local standard requirements. For horizontal entries, a pole hoist or a side entry system can be incorporated. Tripods and davit systems, with their wide variety of portable and fixed bases, can help with vertical entries. For body support, many options exist to ensure your workforce are fully equipped for entry. Many harnesses incorporate confined space loops or shoulder D-rings. Harnesses with this feature may be a good option for confined space work as the workers can be raised and lowered in a vertical position. However, selecting the correct harness should consider the conditions in or work being performed within the space. As an example, harnesses may incorporate suspension seats where the worker may be suspended for an extended duration. A coated harness is an option for entry into confined spaces, which may contain material that could be absorbed or contaminate the harness. Additionally, harnesses designed for hot work should be considered when welding or grinding is being performed. The connecting device is the link between A and B. It could be a rope or a self-retracting lifeline with or without retrieval incorporated. Choosing the right connecting device is dependent on the length of entry and environmental conditions. Rope systems are often used in horizontal entries and are easy to use but may not incorporate any mechanical advantage. Descent and rescue systems should incorporate a mechanical advantage component, whether it be a rope or cable. A cable system is usually available in galvanised or stainless steel and should be considered when in confined spaces where structure or contaminants may damage the critical mechanical components. Descent and rescue systems should include a fall arrest option. Selecting the right equipment for entry, retrieval and rescue for confined spaces can be aided by remembering the ABCDs. Each space must be evaluated to determine the proper configuration of each item. In future videos, we will go into more detail discussing anchors, body support, connecting and descent and rescue devices for confined spaces.